Multimedia, how are we today? Um, today we're going to be working with another Web 2.0 technology. This one's called Soundation.com. Okay, so let's head to Moodle. I'm going to click on Soundation Forum. Okay, now Soundation is very similar to GarageBand, okay, only it's over the internet. Okay, you could store your, your songs on there, you could share them with others, um, you could create music with loops and beats, kind of like we did with GarageBand. So let's take, let's get there. Okay, so your video is going to be under instructions. Um, the link for Soundation is right here, soundation.com. I'm just going to put my mouse over it and click. Okay, so we're all going to log in again, just like Prezi, with the under my login. Okay, so it's M. Courtright at New Hope. 3c.org, right? But this time the password is just New Hope. Okay, no capital letters, just New Hope. All right. I also have the login information in the uh, Moodle forum. Okay, in case you forget it. Also up on the dry erase board. Okay. So at this point, um, we're going to go into Studio and create a song. Okay. And again, just to reiterate, Foundation Studio um, is the same. Thing pretty much is GarageBand. Okay, you could um, use virtual instruments, use um, record your voice, create and um, manipulate audio and the loops and create songs. So, let's head to the studio. Here we go. Click on Studio. Ah, yes. Okay, we're getting back to our grassroots here with the music making. So, we already have these what are called audio channels up already. Okay, this is um, the areas where we could uh, put our loops. Okay, so again, very similar. Our library is pretty much like um, our, our um, media browser that we had last time. Okay, this is where all the beats are. Okay, they're labeled under um, genre here. Okay, so just to reiterate, we'll go over some stuff. It's very similar to GarageBand. What I want out of you guys for this assignment is to create a song that's two minutes long, okay, with at least at least three different loops or beats. Okay, so let's just go over how to put in uh, songs and beats again. Okay, we're just gonna let's start with something. Let's start with some bass. Okay, let's click on that. Let's see what this one sounds like. Ah, okay, I like this one. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, actually, I've I previewed this one before. I like this beat, so I'm gonna toss that in there. Okay, so again, this song is five seconds long, and these are the measures in seconds up here. Five seconds. Okay, down here. All right. Um, also also measures the length of the song. Right here, it's I believe that's seconds. Let's play it. Yeah, this is this is um, time in seconds. You could click on that and change that to um, right here is would be seconds, minutes, and then hours. Okay, I like that one. I'll, I'm 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 gonna use that one to um, help me time out my my two minute song. So again, if you like this beat, you maybe want it to go a little longer. You're gonna click in the top right hand corner. You see that white part? See that little white part there? You could extend it out. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna duplicate it to ten seconds. Ah, nice, nice. Okay. I make sure. I want to see that fading in and out effect that we did earlier on in GarageBand. I'll show you what I mean. Okay. So we'll go to our audio channel. All right, and then under Automate, I'm gonna click on um, that drop-down box and then click on Volume. Okay. So. You see that little white line I clicked on? It's orange now. Okay, this is where we could fade in and out our beats. Okay, kind of raise the volume gradually. So I'm gonna drag this bead all the way down to the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna click and make other. If you click on the line again, you'll make other beads. Okay, it'll allow you to gradually bring that volume up or down depending on what you want to do. For the beginning, I want everybody to. Kind of gradually bring that volume in. Okay, I actually wanted to 
I want it to reach its top level till about five seconds in. Okay. Excellent. Okay, and then we'll do that one go. So let's play it again just to show you what I mean. Ah, see how it's fading in like that? Nice. That's what we want. Perfection. Okay, well, it's almost perfect. But okay, not to gloat. Okay, so let's put in another beat. Okay, again, this will go on the, the audio channel underneath it or one of the other audio channels. Okay, it's not going to go on, on the same line. Okay, so let's go. Let's find. Let's see. Beat punch. Let's see what that sounds like. And all you have to do is double click to preview the beat over there. Okay. Ah, I like this one. Okay. Also preview this one already. Okay. I'm gonna kind of throw this in. Let's see. And you can use your cursor down here to move the beat over. Okay. You could also, I think you could can you extend that out? I'm not sure. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna click and I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna stagger that right there. Okay, all right. So now let's just go back to the beginning again. You could extend them. I want you to extend these out to about two minutes. Okay. Now what I just did, you could. What am I gonna say? You could actually make part of the song repeat. I just clicked and made that yellow line there. So when it gets to that point, it'll just repeat. Show you what I mean. It'll just keep going like that. But we don't yeah, we don't want that. I'm gonna get rid of that thing. Okay, so let's go back and preview that from the beginning. I feel like we're about to go into battle right now. Yeah. It's pretty intense. up here. Okay. Again, you might, I want to extend that beat over this one, so we have two beats going at once. So I have my bass with, along with my beat, so now let's take the volume channel thing off. Remember to take your volume, put display off so the thing goes away. I'm going to click and I'm going to drag that out. All right. And then we try to find at least one more beat to put in that third audio channel. All right. You don't want if you don't need an audio channel you can just click on it and then hit the delete button it'll get rid of it for you very simple okay again let's talk about so it's not going to split anything or whatever but a little bit of a different effect if you want to put in a put in, an, in a special effect on there you hit that FX button okay and then pick one of these let's hit the store let's see what that does Gain just means it's going to make the distortion more amplified there. Just click on that thing and circle and kind of bring it over like that. Okay. See what that did? That kind of just distorted. It kind of sounds like a Nine Inch Nails song. I don't know if you guys have heard of Nine Inch Nails. But it kind of makes, gives it that intense feel, that intense sound. So the beauty of this is when you're done with it, you don't have to upload it. You don't have to go on to Moodle and do that whole thing. Okay. You're just gonna have to go to File, Save As. Okay. I want you to save this as. I already have something in there. First initial, last name. Okay. So for me, it'll be M Court, right? And then Foundation One. All right. Very important because we're gonna be doing multiple projects on here. So make sure that it says Foundation One, and then hit Save. Okay. And just like Prezi. It's up on my account, so when I when I go to access it, or I will go to file open to look at them. Okay, it's up there. Okay, simple as that. Okay, all I ask is that you go back into Moodle. Okay, and then when you're finished with that assignment, so I know you're done. Okay, you'll go back to the forum, foundation forum that is. Okay, you'll hit add new discussion topic. Over here, you just put foundation one. Okay, just put done and the date. 
and today's the 29th. But, now guys, this might take, this probably should take you more than a class period, so take your time with it. Have fun. Okay. Again, very similar to GarageBand. If you have questions, please ask me. Best of luck to you.